the screen is starting. Hello, my name is Neil Sandage. I'm making a quick video about just what I'm seeing on Amazon. I'm actually searching for oven safe, microwave safe. I don't use a microwave. It has to be oven safe, but also want it to be square. Uh, and I want it to be shallow, one to two inches deep. Uh, really not over two inches deep. Here's like a reference. I like this little measuring cup. It's the oil I put into uh, cooking. This is uh, a quarter cup, 60 milliliters, 60 milliliters. A tablespoon is uh, 15 milliliters. So this is four uh, tablespoons of fat or plant fats that I add to uh, the dishes I'm making. Instead of meat, um, you just try and have in inventory a variety of plant and plant fats cost less than meat, but provide all the calories and stuff that the meat would give you. And protein should be complete uh, grain sources. Uh, when I was growing up, there was this mystery on TV of white rice and black beans or white rice and red beans. And somehow being half of a protein and half of a protein, but together they make a whole protein or a complete protein by mixing white with black. Like, what the fuck is that about? Why wouldn't protein be protein and protein be protein? What, what's going on here? And so you really want to go with grains instead of uh, beans. You want everything to be above ground. If the beans are being cooked or if you're eating beans, you want the beans all to be uh, off a branch and not a root. Uh, you shouldn't eat any root-based plants ever. That's the end of that. Uh, this was annoying me because I, get, I purchased Japanica rice, which is black, and I like buckwheat, which is red. I'm like, why the hell are all of these Asian things like this or red and black journal books of the Catholics, St. Meinrad's Arch Abbey, which ironically, it's German to kill all Germans. And um, it's the scariest thing I ever encountered going back up to Indiana, Perry County and Spencer County and seeing what was going on. Because I love Hoosier National Forest. No one should be cutting anything there and uh, everyone should be enjoying the perfect uh, rule with small garden, whatever lifestyle. So this is something I saw and I'm just like, this is not acceptable and I don't know how to deal with this. Um, I'm trying to uh, just complain about melamine. I'm like, e even that name is nonsensical. Melamine. I'm going to search it, define it for you. And then I'll try and end the video just People shouldn't be eating any kind of albino rice. We don't want to use the word white because white tricks people into thinking it is something. White is the absence of color. Titanium dioxide is a reflection of all the wavelengths in the air and blending them together. And light cancels light. White is actually the cancellation of all colors, tricking all colors into killing themselves. Uh, if you point two colors the same frequency at each other, they destroy each other. But there's still an energy, uh, even though they smash each other like fission uh, and cancel out their existence, they still release energy that we perceive as white. There's a reason like there are three colors on is because they do just enough interference of each other to cancel out the color of each other. And all you see is the escaping energy of the collision of those colors crashing together. Uh, melamine is an organic compound. Don't know what it's made of with the formula carbon three, hydrogen six, nitrogen six. Normally you'd want carbon six, six, six. Uh, this white solid is a trimmer of cyanamide. So there's a poison. Now, this is something that would suppress bacteria. And I guess the reason they're using it as a plastic is it's an antifungal plastic. Uh, cyanamide, uh, cyan uh, is a color uh, it also means uh, death to all living creatures and moderate amounts of organic sources can be ingested and like kill AIDS or HIV. H HIV, I don't know what AIDS is. AIDS, I think, is where the radar like kills all your white blood cells uh, because you carry a tracer thing called HIV. Or Anyways, I, this, the, the news scares the hell out of me. And I stop to read things sometimes, but I don't want any contact or interaction with it ever. No offense to everybody, but the world's too fucking scary. So anyways, it has a triazine skeleton. I'm like, why would it be the 135-zine or 13-zine? Uh, like cyanamide, it contains 67% nitrogen by uh, mass. Uh, it is the a derivative. To your calculations. It's fire retardant properties due to the release of nitrogen gas when burned or charred. It is not heat safe. 
So it's very stupidly ridiculous to say fire retardant properties. It's a plastic that shouldn't be a fire fuel yet would release chemicals that would poison whatever food you're eating. That's what they're really not telling you. Asaya what? Asaya who? Let, let's copy this. Yeah, I'm sure of it. We'll put it up here. Um, it also appealed to me because it was anti breakable. I was like, oh, for school cafeterias and for restaurants, that seems awesome. And there's ARC, A R C, which is a simple building and a really great dealer of cooking goods. Uh, A R C actually produces beautiful, like English pottery uh, made of melamine. That has patterns, so having a solid thing with single color. Everything should be inked or patterned or something. Uh, cyamides is an organic compound with a formula uh, carbon nitrogen 2 H2 so carbon 1 nitrogen 2 hydrogen 2 the white solid everything white is poisonous or toxic it doesn't matter what the material is whether it's albino chicken albino turkey a uh, white or bleached cane sugar again there's no such thing as white just call it albino your brain will start figuring out what reality is if you stop using this word white like it's something that exists because people just label everything white but you need to know what the substance is it's usually titanium dioxide the wall pigment this is titanium dioxide titanium is safe and inert could lead to problems but for the most part it's very safe the thing is it's not white titanium is not white titanium is this the oxidization creates a electron shell that blends together all light that strikes it and cancels out all the wavelengths yeah so anyways, um, ouch. the agricultural and production of pharmaceuticals and other organic compounds is used as an alcohol detergent drug in Canada. Deterrent alcohol deterrent? Oh, I don't know. Anyways, the molecule features a nitrile group attached to an amino group. I don't know. Maybe they poison people who are alcoholics. An alcohol deterrent drug? What is cyamide? Cyamide is a weak, soluble, dibasic acid. Uh, the parent acid of cyamide salts, cyamide acid, and various water soluble compounds have a sour taste and are capable of turning litmus red, reacting with a base to form a salt. Now, salt of the earth and tears or something. Uh, what is calcium cyamide? Calcium cyamide is a chemical compound used in industrial agriculture as a fertilizer. We don't want any of that stuff. That, they would kill all the beneficial microbes in the soil, thus maximizing the profits of farmers because there's no competing for the minerals in the soils because they killed the soil. But if you ever try and grow without using fertilizer, the soil would be dead. It only works in the presence of fertilizer and kills the soil. Uh, and fertilizer comes from mowing down forests and rainforests and United National Forests and uh, removing all the nutrients from it and dumping it on the soil, but they add this chemical or they synthesize this chemical and it kills all the bacteria so that th th there's no life in the bacteria to break down or decompose or make the soil fertile again. It's artificial fertility through killing competition for resources in the soil. Uh, that would be a calcium cyanide. Uh, you also don't want soils to be exceptionally basic. Uh, that would be stone or stone dead or stone cold. You actually want soils to be slightly acidic, or the plants specifically to be acidic. Um, what's the formula? What is a nitrolim form? Calcium cyamide, also known as nitrolim, uh, is used as an inorganic. Again, it's just an inorganic nitrogenous fertilizer. So kills everything, turns it inorganic, should be organic farming. It's a poison for the earth. And our goal is to kill all farmers and kill all farmland because the Bible says Moses wants to murder all Aaron. So the chaplains and everybody's brains go, okay, I'm cool with that. Bible said though, like, does anybody understand that in the 1400s, there was like a massive rewrite of the Bible? And there was. Uh, Lithuanians captured a bunch of uh, people from southern China near Bhutan uh, the in haplo group and the in haplo group uh, were raped and used as sex breeders to give brain cells to the Lithuanians to make the Lithuanians uh, capable in the Finnish Finland uh, capable of competing with the Arabs, um, but they're all part of the same arc path, the straight line across the earth. And so it's just a crazy irony that they're also population uh, 
crush of Finland and population crush of Finland and Lithuania, where St. George comes from. How is cyanamide manufactured? It's supposed to be organic. Say hydrolysis of calcium. Cyanamide, which turns the prepared calcium into a Franco Caro, Frankenstein, corn syrup, that'll fuck you. Conducted on slurries, consequently, most commercial cyanide is sold as an aqueous solution. Da 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 da. What is the correct loop pack? I don't know. Calcium carbonate IAPC. What is a Dormex? Why, well, Dormex is a plant growth regulator uh, which may be used in apples. Apples aren't worth your time. No offense. I grew up on them. Apple juice seemed fine, but you really want real fruit. Uh, apples are you know, a giant starch. Maybe good for alcohol. Actually, the alcohol isn't bad, but it would take breeding and skill, and there's some people who've done that. Uh, but I really don't want apples. I mean, Fuji's good, but Fuji isn't from USA. Everything USA does needs to be blander. needs to be universal. We only want sugar content. What? Why have flavor? What, why have any disputes? Everything should be flavorless but sweet. <laughs> like, just eat cane sugar and leave me alone. So, it's <laughs> angry. Yeah, bleached cane sugar, which is, uh, da, da, da. I, I don't want to be like that because I've eaten apple slices. Various restaurants attempt to do a healthy menu, and you got apples on the menu. And when there are juices, I would typically take an orange or something, but apple, you whatever it is, you want it to have a colored blossom. So that's another strange thing. Not just about what is the skin color of the fruit, but what color was the blossom that the fruit came from. It has to be a colored blossom, otherwise it's really not worth nutritional value. Uh, to increase or advance abundant bud burst and flowering. So it's something that causes more flowering. Lead to more uniform flowering, allowing better results from thinning sprays. I don't know what that's about. I don't know where it comes from. It was just in the list of things to read about. What is a superphosphate of lime? All right, let's say so I this National Institute, nitrile, cdc.gov. You won't go here to the CDC because that's supposedly something in disease control. And we'll check out what it says as cyanamide, which these plates are made of that are microwave, not supposed to be microwave or oven. And what I'm looking for is a microwave or oven safe thing. Toaster ovens are always the past and future. People use too large of a thing to cook their food. It would cook quicker in a pressure cooker, in an oven. And coffee and liquid should always be done in a siphon where you have negative bar pressure extracts flavor so you got, use less grounds to get stronger flavor coffee uh, siphons are credited to sweden but turkey is also the source of uh, swedish meatballs so it's an interesting thing where they married some really smart people and held on to some really good qualities that the marriage brought with it or the dowry brought with it and siphon coffee is the best way to have coffee uh i don't know for sure there there's a company i was looking at uh, I purchased, I do know for sure, I purchased uh, and used it on Amazon, but I, just this week I was looking at ratio of coffee blends for scoops, like what's the right amount of coffee for a thing, and I discovered that siphons that are officially recognized as you need, you have to use less coffee, or you don't need as much coffee, Heesh. like 1 12th to 1 16th ratio, they said 350 seconds. Uh, Alexa, what is 50 divided by 3? It's like a 16. 50 divided by 3 15 is 16. 16.6667. All right, 16.66. So whatever, 16th. I don't know why I said 15. I had it right the first time. 45 is 15. Yeah, that's final. Cyanide, it's um, an amino, cyanogen, cyanide, cyanide, hydrogen, cyanide, note, cyanide is also a synonym for calcium cyanide. Uh, so as a solid, as a gravity, incompatible, reactive, above 104. 
that's a human body temperature, by the way. Your brain and can run a fever, and I've hit 104 playing basketball. Exposure, symptoms, irritation, skin, respiratory symptoms, myosis, salivation, discharge, twitching. Twitching, really? antibuse like effects, target organs, eyes, skin, respiratory system, central nervous system. So again, I apologize for recommending it for cafeterias, but it's shatterproof. And the general thing is don't use it for hot things or particularly hot. Yeah, <laughs> shatterproof. <laughs> kind of love that yeah, commercial environment, but it is not something I would use in my own house. So I don't want to recommend it to anyone. I'm really just debunking it because I got upset that um, all the Japanese stuff was red and black. I'm like, that's that, that. And then they want you to use white rice. I'm like, who are these bastards? I love black rice. I love red buckwheat. There is no reason to be making the plate the color instead of the food the color. It's like, why would you make the plates reflect replace the color of the food? Yeah. And I don't mind porcelain. In fact, I kind of like that milky wheat color. It's it's a nice color. In fact, all plates should be uh, farm landscapes. It's really bizarre. If I was master leader of everybody, I'd say all oh, eating whatever containers must have farm themes on them or agriculture themes, uh, organic herbivore themes, all, all must have herbivore themes. Uh, for the sanctity of people's brains. It says it's uh, corrosive, acutely toxic, an irritant, and a health hazard. Cyamide appears as a colorless, delinquent crystals, delinquent, deliquescent, del deliquescent, whatever that means. Alexa, define deliquescent. I have a couple definitions for the adjective. Deliquescent, one. Absorbing moisture from the air and forming a solution. Two, melting, disappearing, seeming to deliquesce. All right, some of my compounds have been used as fertilizers. Defoliants, like to cause your eyebrows to fall out, maybe. I know defoliant. Alexa, define defoliant. Napoleon is usually defined. Alexa, as I apologize. I said it better before I spoke to you. I will repeat myself as I said it before I addressed you. Alexa, define defoliant. Defoliant. Napoleon is usually defined Alexa, as... Alexa, define defoliant. As an adjective, deviant is usually defined as deviating or departing a Napoleon from the norm, deviant. Hi, how you deviation. doing? He is pretty As awesome, now, by the way. To attack without ever retreating. Like, what's wrong with that? Why, why did you exile him? You'll never believe it ever. Yeah, uh, Alexa, define D-E-F-O-L-I-A-N-T. The fourth letter of the English alphabet. Alexa, define D-E-F-O-L-I-A-N-T. Defoliant is usually defined as a preparation for defoliating plants. Alexa, what does it mean to defoliate? The verb deviate is usually defined as to turn aside. Alexa, as from a define D-E-F-O-L-I-A-T-E. -E. As a verb, defoliate is usually defined as to strip a tree, bush, etc., of leaves. As an adjective, yeah. defoliate is usually defined as of a tree having lost its leaves, especially by a natural process. For so more, this chemical shouldn't be allowed in any kind of food service that's hot, especially soups. <laughs> that would be the worst. It's the most surface contact and the most heat possible. Uh, so none of the Japanese should be fed this ever. That's why we've seen it most of the time. So all those people who love going to Asian uh, restaurants, that's the wrong thing. They've been tricked. They're going to poison themselves and their customers. Mind control, serial killers, weather surveillance radar, 1988, weather surveillance radar, 1957, weather surveillance radar, 1974, weather surveillance radar, 1939. 
It's like the first official one. Uh, they had death rays in 1923. Uh, it is a defoliant, this chemical. Uh, as I said, it kills everything in the soil. So that there's no competing in the soil for minerals that the commercial crops, which I don't even want to talk about. It's commercials that only allow commercial crop growth because they require you to buy fertilizer that they went to someone out of out of scene and like killed your neighbor, stripped their farm of all that stuff, and then said, hey, I'll sell you some fertilizer to put on that. And it's less fertile than when it was on the farm of your neighbor. Uh, so I'm going to stop the video there. That's 20 minutes. My goal is to always stay under 22. Uh, hello, my name is Neil Sandage. Uh, this is me advertising. Do not buy melamine. I love the word mine. I love the word mela. It should not be melamine. It should be arista. Everyone wants to be an arista. Arista is the most important word, the most important intelligence, the most important genetic characteristics of all the earth, and it's a grain based thing. All right, so here's the melamine. I'm trying to show this like really nice interior housing. You, you still want lots of family photos and stuff like that. And all these art things. It's like real wealth is having family photos on the wall. And I apologize. I only have like one in the hallway and a books and stuff. There was a fire at my house, lost all my photos. Um, this is my mom's house. It's a recent house. Um, that's scary. All the photos should have migrated with her. Anyways. I was protesting in D.C., uh, the burning of UNESCO, the bombing of UNESCO. Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, dropped free weapons on UNESCO World Heritage Sites. And um, albino rice is wrong. Albino anything is wrong. And that's the final word.